everybody, welcome to this edition of Tips and Techniques with Tammy on the Scrap Spot. I've seen a lot of discussion lately on the um, message boards about the use of crackle medium in your scrapbooks. And I'm familiar, I know there are some companies that are actual scrapbook companies that make this medium. The one that I'm familiar with working with is um, this crackle by Delta. They're the same people that make the acrylic paint. And so I thought I'd go ahead and show you how this can be used and what effect it has and then maybe you can experiment with it on your pages. So let's go ahead and get started. I have two samples here for you to take a look at. The first one um, was made using a very thick coat of crackle medium. Now, crackle will do a couple of things. If you do a thick coat of it, it will result in these big, chunky ch uh, cracks. If you do a lighter coat of it, it's going to result in finer cracking like this. The other thing that will happen is when you apply your crackle, whatever direction you apply it to your paper, it will, um, when you paint your top coat of paint, that's the direction that your cracks will form. So in this sample, I painted straight up and down and that's why the cracks are all pretty uniform and in a straight up and down fashion. In this sample, I just painted my paint on any which way because I wanted more of a cracking everywhere, and so that's why it um, resulted in that look. Now, a lot of people are concerned with their paper warping when they use crackle medium, and it does warp a little bit, especially if you're going to use a thick coat. Um, the thin coat, I find, doesn't warp hardly at all. This, I mean, you can... I don't know if you can tell, but when I lay this down, it really hardly bends up at all. And if you're going to use adhesive to stick it down anyways underneath on your page, it's not going to affect the way that it looks. What I did with the thicker crackle paper is I, um, once it was dry, I laid it under a book, a heavy book, and it flattened it out pretty well. You can see that it comes up just a little bit on these two edges here, but once, again, once I tack that down with a, um, little adhesive onto my page, it you won't even notice it. So I've got a couple samples here. Real quick, you can get the crackle at any craft store. I think it was about three dollars for this jar and I've had it for a long time. I like to use when I'm painting. A lot of your embellishments come in these just plastic wrappers. I'll save a couple to have on hand to just put my paint on because they don't let the paint absorb through. They're great. You can just throw them away when you're done and it's really, you know, a fast and easy way. Now, typically when you're using crackle in a paint project, when you're working with wood, you'll apply a base coat. So you would want to pick two contrasting colors, maybe a blue with a cream on top. What I do is I just use cardstock that's colored so I don't have to do a bottom layer of paint. It's a lot faster and it gives you, you know, a good look. I'm going to do a thin layer here of the crackle. If you want to, you know, paint your paper first, you can do that too. You could paint it with some acrylic and then um, let that dry, then paint the crackle over it, and then do your top coat. But once again, I'm just going to do use a colored cardstock so when I put my top coat of paint on, the blue is what will show through. Now for a thin layer, it's probably going to take, oh three to five minutes to get to the stage where you can actually paint over it. Now, I'll try and do a thick coat here for you too and see if you can see the difference. I'm not sure. I'll just do a smaller area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell in the video, but it's gonna be very goopy if you're doing a thick coat. Use a little bit more here. And this, jar or bottle of crackle will last you a very long time because you don't use that much of it at a time. Now something like this is probably going to take 15 to 20 minutes before it's ready for you to paint. So just know that this is something that takes a little bit of time, especially if you've painted the undercoat first. So let those dry. Move this out of the way. I'm going to move the thick layer out of the way in hopes that we can work with this thinner layer here. Um, now what you're going to do is you want this to reach a tacky, still wet, but almost dry stage. You want it to just feel like it's making your finger stick to it. If it's too wet, you're going to get streaks when you paint. If it's too dry, it's not going to crack. So 
I would suggest practicing with this a few times before you actually use it on a project or create something like a mat, a photo mat that you know you're going to stick on your page separately. Um, you know when you're new at working with it. So now I'm going to take my cream paint because this has reached a pretty good consistency. So I did a very thin coat, and I'm just going to paint over the top of it here. Just you want to do quick, even strokes so you prevent any smearing. I like to load a lot of paint on my brush because I think that helps. And then you just want to sit back and watch that as it dries. Once it dries, you, know, you can already kind of see little bubbles forming. Um, once it dries, dries completely, you're going to have a look similar to this. Um, if you want to try to get a different look to your cracks or some finer cracks, once you apply the crackle medium and let it get to its tacky stage, you can apply your top coat of paint with um, a sea sponge or just try different, maybe a rag, just try different ways to apply the paint and that will give you a different look every time. Um, so just, I guess the most important things to remember are just for uniform cracking, you want to apply your crackle in one direction, and for random cracking, you want to just cross, cross brush with the crackle, because whatever, whichever way you brush, that's the way the cracks are going to show up, and you can see that they're already starting to form here on the sample that I just made. So it's a very quick, easy way to give you an antique look to your page, and here is a sample of something that I used this technique on. I was using all antique papers and so I wanted the photo mat um, to have that same look. So I just took a red piece of cardstock, brushed on a light coat of the crackle medium, let it dry to a tacky stage, and then um, brushed the cream paint over it. So anyways, I hope that gives you an idea of how to work with that and now you can experiment with it on your pages and see what kind of results you get. Thanks for watching.